Greetings, Cauldron of Weird fans. Welcome back. It's time for another very special episode. I have Icon for Hire here with me. Hello. 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 And welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Come all the way from Nashville. I know you guys love coming up to Columbus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How did you know? Because have we I'm... not mentioned it enough times? <laughs> well, there's that. Plus, I'm here every time you come up here. So it's amazing. There is that as well. This will be my ninth time seeing you. So this is a. Uh... What? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. like more than my mother has seen us. That's amazing. Uh, so I saw you for the first time at Warp Tour in Cincinnati in like 2014. I think your voice was like totally shot at this Warp Tour. Yeah. And I got like really bad strep on 2014, yeah. So then I saw you that fall, and then I came back and I went to see you three times at three separate Warp Tour dates the following year. So That's amazing. I hope you got free passes. You didn't have to pay for <laughs> no. this, did you? <laughs> no, I just. You're just I, a dedicated fan. I just music love fan. music. I love it. So, um, like I said a little bit ago, you came all the way from Nashville. Um, I will say, really interesting move when, that you guys moved to Nashville. I know you guys are from Decatur, but yeah. it's, most fans will go to New York, they'll go to Los Angeles. Nashville was not what I expected for a band of your guys' style. So how's that working for you, like living out there? How's Nashville life treating you? We, we love Nashville. It's like, it's our ride or die city. We freaking love it. We used to hate it, and I actually talked about that in my book. It used to be so lame to me, so just undiverse, uninteresting, uncreative, but it really has changed a lot in the last like five years. Um, and for us, it's centrally located, so a band to tour out of makes perfect sense. If you're touring out of New York or LA, you're kind of screwed if your tour starts on an opposite coast. And then additionally, we have a good fan base there. It's close enough to our family, so we're still indicator. It's close enough to all like your yeah. favorite fishing spots from the outdoorsmen. So he likes being close to nature, so it works out. Tennessee, my, my boss actually at work is from Tennessee. So yeah. she, she um, well, she's from Knoxville, but opposite yeah. side, I know, but I know that the trails and the mountains out there are ridiculously gorgeous. Yep. You've, you've done some of that trail. Yeah, I've done the Appalachian trip. Not the whole thing, but... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, that's going to be a whole topic of conversation. Um, but, you know, I always see that you guys are working on stuff. Always constantly busy, moving, working. I, I'll see on your Instagram that he is always on the computer, like, yeah. putting stuff together. Yeah. Um, so I guess that leads into your new music that you've been putting out. Mm -hmm. Venom, Hollow, yeah. phenomenal songs. I'm really loving Venom so far. Hollow, I finally got to um, in the past week. Very interesting music video, by the way. Yeah. Where, um, where it had you being the patient the whole time, and then it just flips it at the end. I was just sitting there, I was like, well, you know, I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm curious to see why the direction for that, well, particularly for the end of that video, why the twist ending, where, what that means to you personally. Cool, yeah. Uh, we worked on that with the director of the video, who was just a friend of ours, and we were having dinner with him. He was like, hey, I've got this cool idea. So it actually wasn't our concept. I had a really lame idea about me like walking around the city, and whatever. His was way better. <laughs> um, but the flip is is just to say that we all have something to offer, and we all have something that, that we need. So we all can pour into somebody's life as the therapist role, and we all are really messed up and need someone else to hold our hand along the process, too. So that is the flip of just, we could all be our own patient and our own therapist in different times of our lives, you know? Sometimes I feel like I've got it together, and sometimes I feel like I need more help than anyone I've ever met. So it's just the confusion of that. Wow, yeah, that resonated really well with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, and I, I know mental health is definitely a really big thing with you guys, definitely a really key aspect of your music. Um, we on the channel actually have talked about it. We have, we have a podcast where we talked about a YouTuber who was going through like some serious mental health issues and she basically just said, she posted a video after like a year of being gone. So it's like, I'm quitting YouTube because wow. of her mental health. Like, um, I know mental health is a really big thing in your book as well. Yeah. Um, one thing that really stood out to me, and this is probably my favorite passage from the book is when you're heading over to Europe, you're flying over, and you're talking about how you're just beating yourself up over and over. It's just like, no, you don't get to treat yourself that way. Yeah. I feel like that's a message a lot of people need. Yeah. Um, it's, and it's really hard going through life, you know, beating yourself up and being this way. Um, what was basically that like the final straw for you to say, it's just like, it's just like, okay, I need to do something here. I need to yeah, get it, was it all together. Like one of many like gifts from the universe of like, Ariel, get your shit together here. I didn't realize how like much pain I was in. For those of you who haven't read the book, I was on the plane and I had this moment of like, I hate myself. And I hadn't articulated that. I just had been living in that fog of self-hatred and calling it my normal. And then we were on the flight over to play this badass 
festival in Amsterdam and it should have been a really cool celebratory moment, but it wasn't. It was an empty, painful moment filled with more self-hatred and judgment. And then I was like, oh, this is messed up. And looking back, how cool is it that that moment filled with so much just like panic and self-hatred turned into what ended up being the basis of my whole book which now yeah. has helped people and has helped me. And it's just kind of a, an amazing way to like look back now a few years later and be like, oh, that moment actually kind of served me. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Have people like other people really resonated with that part of the book as well or has? Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, that part and there's a part in uh, I think chapter three about self-harm and that's been, there's been a lot of resonance with that too. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Um, Sean, I wanted to, to talk to you about yeah. um, well, let, let's talk about the, the last album uh, for a little bit, um, You Can't Kill Us. Definitely took a different set of tones from uh, the self-titled and Peter. Definitely a lot less guitar driven, but it's definitely still there. Yeah. Um, I don't think she's phasing you out. I, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure on that. No, he's got more power than ever. I, uh, yeah. So, um, I guess the direction of the music is definitely going towards a more techno-ish sound, I yeah. guess, like, is that the word? Yeah. Um, have you been having a lot of fun, like, putting all these pieces together and making sure that everything sounds... Do, do I talk into this? I'm sorry. You can talk to either okay. one. All right. Okay. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I'm just always trying to push the envelope to bring uh, active rock mm -hmm. into more of uh, what we have to offer and try to be... It's a really long road to being really unique. You know what I mean? It's an easy way to just sound like another band, the same genre. So we've always looked 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 ahead and it's like, what can we bring? What genres can we bring into this? And where can we go with this and still not lose the fundamental, the the rock and the aggression? So what we're doing is, is I'm running synthesizers through these arms, okay, to get that saturated sound where it's still kind of like you can feel it. It's pushing the song. It's like still driving. And then, but we're 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 not completely just like going like straight electronica, you know. Sure. Yeah. And and there's a lot of like genre bending going on in your music, and I think that's part of the why. I'll I take that all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I think that's personally why I like the music so much is because you know you've got that hard rock sound, you've got that pop sound, you've got the rap elements to it, and it all just blends together so magically.
So, I think it's safe to say Nintendo was your thing then. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. My sister just picked one up at a retro store, and then mm. my two little nieces love the game now too. When it works. <laughs> well, that's a trick, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So, what's your favorite drink now? It can be alcoholic, non-alcoholic, whatever you want. Yours is easy. I know what yours is. What's mine? Ginger beer. Ginger beer. Lacroix. Right. Yeah. Which the fans are now bringing him Lacroix to the yeah. show, which is great. Yeah. Um, I like those Izzy's with like the juice and the carbonation. Yeah. And then my favorite yeah. line is Cupcake Brand Sauvignon <laughs> Blanc, which is Sauvignon it's Blanc. like ten dollars and it's like my favorite, which is great. I'm so glad I have cheat taste. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with enjoying a cheap alcohol. Right. Like, There's nothing wrong with that. My bank account would like it if I did as well. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite artist you're listening to at the moment? Go ahead, I have to think. Oh, I love the new Bring Me the Rising record. Yeah. Really? Absolutely love it. Yeah. But I've listened to, do I always, I listen between like pop music, Linkin Park, Lamb of God, and like just Slipknot, back to Linkin Park, back to Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're interesting because literally, I what, love music. What I, what I listen to is the productive morning playlist on Spotify or the sleepy piano or the brain food. I just listen to instrumental music when I'm reading or journaling. Like, I just don't listen to music. And I should. It would be better for my writing. That's why I have so much control over <laughs> <laughs> I listen, if he's listening, I'll listen to it, but it's never like occurs to me, like, ooh, I want to jam this new band and I'm going to listen to it. It just doesn't cross my mind. I'm like, oh, I want some jazz when I'm cooking or cleaning. So, I'm in a constant state of just yeah. listening to what's going on in the music industry. So I'm glad you're staying on top of it and I just. I'm the I produce the music, though, so I got to kind of know. Yeah. Fair enough. So, I mean, I'm all over the place. Like I have the worst music ADHD in the world. Yeah, me too. And it's it's so bad. And my anyone who goes on a road trip with me will tell you that I cannot listen to like the same band twice in a row. Oh yeah. So <laughs> it's it's just I've been jamming out some star set too. Some of their new stuff's great. Yeah, oh their new album's phenomenal. Yeah. Like big songs. Very big, yeah. very huge Anthem, production. Arena, yeah. Our uh, our pre show playlist was like getting stuck in a rut and like it was running out of songs and so then our like sound guy would just turn on Fall Out Boy continuously and the crew oh, was no. like hating life at the end of the night they're like we've been listening to like 15 years of Fall Out Boy for three hours tearing down and they're so over it. Alright this this question is of dire importance to this YouTube channel especially it's pineapple on pizza yes or no? No. I'll, I'll be okay with it but I wouldn't order it on purpose. I love mushrooms on pizza though. I'm so sad now. All right. I think the first time I ever ate pineapple pizza was at your house. Did you freak out? With that I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's pretty <normal. laughs> it's cool. I love it. You love sure. it? Yeah. And I guess Brian wins this round. So that brings our scoreboard to four to two now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Uh, so, and last but not least, also of dire importance to this channel is, what is your favorite bird? My favorite bird? Bird. Pink yes. flamingo. Pink, what the hell? I am under no circumstances surprised about that. It's I think a it's bird. It's a 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 bird. Yeah. Alright. You probably want like a black crow or something. No, I love looking at woodpeckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I how, I how in the hell can that thing beat its head into that? They don't get, like, they, they don't get concussions either. I've, I studied the, like, the brain of a woodpecker and it's insane. So what they do is they like retract their tongue and it wraps around their skull. To protect their brain. And it them like cushion. So See? That they That's can do so that. gross. See, I picked a good one. You picked an interesting That's one. That's a very interesting yes. bird. Yeah. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for this. Thank I, you, Brian. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Guys, go watch all our music videos. Our channel YouTube. is just at Icon for Hire. Super easy. Also, before I forget, congratulations on your milestone hit on Make a Move. <gasps> thank way. you. Yes. Make a Move is hitting 40 million views. Uh, did it hit 40 million? It's, it's, like, it's like super close. By the time this airs, it probably will. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. That was the second video I ever uh, found for you guys. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was first. Nice. But go listen to all their music. You can find them anywhere you get your music from. Yep. We'll see you in the next video, everyone. I'll be the same. Thank you. Thank you.